Good morning. This is a visit with Nana and Papa. <laughs> I'm Nana. I'm Papa. My name is Valerie. I'm Jim. And we're coming to you from Austin, Texas. Um, it is, what is it today? April 29th. It is... Yeah, I think it's the 28th. I don't think so. I think it's the 29th. But either way, it is the... Um, it is the 29th. It is local yarn shop day worldwide so hi to all the local yarn shops specifically <laughs> to hill country weavers yeah. which is our local yarn shop and um if you get a chance pop in say hi support your local yarn shop if you can um casa pinka again is doing her free pattern for local yarn shops if you buy two skeins from your local yarn shop um, if they're participating then you get the pattern free with purchase um and it looks to be very cute i don't really love shawls and so i won't be making it but excited <laughs> to see everyone else's um <coughs> i'm gonna put some stuff in about uh make along at the end so you don't have to stay if you're not interested but it is a make along for everybody and anybody that wants to in all Fiber arts are included. Um, that's all I have for admin at the moment. Do you have any admin stuff? Huh? Do you have any admin stuff? Nope. I didn't think so. Um, just check, <laughs> just check in. Exactly what is admin stuff? Stuff they need to know that's, you know, things, any projects or things you want to do as a community with your community uh, nope okay um i'm still working remember short sleeves so the sleeve will go really quick this one's not done yet the sweater is really close to being done i am currently on the next to last stripe my last stripe will be black so getting really close to that I'm more than halfway done with the current stripe and once that finishes um, this sweater will be done I did work on this um, only while I was at a work event and so not significant amount of progress again not quite an inch this week as well but given that this is so close to being done once this is completed and off the needles this will probably be the next to be off my needles um, it's also planned for being a short sleeve um sweater i have lots of plans but not enough time to knit them all um crazy but we're three minutes in and I'm done with all the knitting <laughs> I don't have any there's no point in going into all these colors because it's in last week's when it's completed I'll tell you all the colors um if you haven't watched any of the other ones this yarn is Chelsea Lux and in her mohair and La Vienna May in um her merino sock that's not that's it this the this is on a us eight and this is on a us six this is a test knit once it's the test knit is complete and the pattern releases i will probably bring it back out again as well but i don't have any more actual knitting should i get into happy mail sure so all kinds of happy mail i know i did not buy anything i am really trying hard not to spend money on anything i don't need because i am determined i will make it to new york i will get to meet jude it's going to happen i will sell things if i need to um not me i'm not for sale no. couldn't afford me <laughs> I am an expensive habit. I t 
talked about this in the first episode. I received this yarn from Jude of Stranded Dye Works. Jude's one of my favorite um, humans and also one of my favorite dyers. And I ordered it because I love green. Had no idea that it was the most perfect green on the planet. I mentioned how I wish I had ordered three so there was enough to make me a top in this yarn. And I did not. And I went back out on the site and it was sold out. And I was sad. And one of the viewers on here, Angela, you are saying, you don't even know how happy you made me. I cried. Um, she does that. She sent me two more. So now I have three in Thrive. The color is called Thrive. It is just, this is my happy place. So all other projects kind of went like, mm, I don't need them. <laughs> I need this, but I want to make the others. So this may have to wait until I finish my pride sweater. I think I need to do finish what's on the needles and then just the pride sweater first. But this, this just, I can't wait to wear this. Yes, my love. I think you can. If you went and got, if you went out shopping to do a treat for your wife, what color would you buy for me? Pink. <laughs> green. But I mean, what color of green? If yeah. you ha if they had it, would you choose d super dark green or lime green or? No. What green would it be? Uh, you don't like the same. You like that sea foam. I like Kelly green. You can't like pine green. So, I don't know. Yeah, that green right there. That green. Yeah. This green. That's plant green. This is my, it's like a mossy green. It's like just the perfect. Uh, it is. It's To me, it's the perfect green. It. I don't know if it's coming through. Let's see if that does any better. I. One, one moment. <laughs> As everything falls down. <laughs> Good job, baby love. Sorry about that. I don't know if this come out any better with some better light, but this is my happy place. <laughs> um, so thank you, Angela. In that same package, she is from Wisconsin, so she sent these uh, stitch markers and they're clay stitch markers and they're cheese heads or cheese. The cheddars. And, that looks um, like Swiss. But they're they're little cheese and um and that made me laugh because Wisconsin is cheese heads, right? Yep. So that made me laugh. Cheese heads, cheddar heads. And then she said coffee. And this one is called Packer Perk Coffee. And then she also sent <coughs> Awaken Coffee. Now, these little Keurig cups, for you, those of you who don't have a Keurig, uh, you take this and a half liter bottle of water, take a sip out of the water, and then put this in there, put it in the refrigerator, and tomorrow you have a cup of cold brewed coffee. And you didn't have to have a Keurig to do it. Your turn. And then she also sent an Irish cream coffee. All of which, he's going to be very happy. Very, very happy. And I don't know. What is it? Barry's Brothers? Barris Brothers. Oh. Not Barry's. Oh, Barris Awaken. Brothers. Oh. It's called Awaken. I uh, like Berry Coffee? That's, that's uh, I know it coffee not, berries. but It's not Berries. It's Barris Brothers. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, that was just so sweet. I was not expecting and. She got my address from a, a friend that we're both friends with. You can say and her name. No, because I didn't know. That's, I, sh I do not have permission oh, to do so. So okay. anyhow, that was really, really nice of both of them. And um, yeah, super, super sweet. And then... More Happy Mail. I got another package and it came yesterday. And... I did make sweaters for two sisters and I just adore them a lot and they know that and they don't get to make as much as I think they would like to because they do so much for their family farm and um, so I got a package from them and they sent me 
hand dyed yarn that they dyed themselves and it's um by way arrow acres farm and it is april canary diamond and my birthday is in april and my birthstone is a diamond so it's just like a win 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 and it just so happens that this is 100% baby alpaca. I have some similar yarn. Not wait, I'll just hold the other one double. That I think I might be able to make a tea or something with. I think that'd be cool. But it is very soft. Did mm -hmm. you touch no. it? It is. Because it's a baby alpaca. And then... They, they shave babies. They also said these are kuna.com.pe, made in Peru. I'm assuming also alpaca, but because there doesn't really say on there, mm. but no way. No, I can't see anything that says what it is. No, made, in, it's okay. made in Peru. That's about the size of it. Well, on Condor Street, 100 yeah. Condor Calle. Well, we could go there and say, hey, yo, what the hell are you making yarn out of? <laughs> but that's expensive. But in Peru, I, not always, but they do make a lot of alpaca and it feels like alpaca, but it may not be. But either way, it's very, very soft. It's super pretty in color. And um, I'm not sure what I will make with these, but I do think they're really pretty. Past experience. Do not make socks out of alpaca. Yeah, yeah. They well, do at least not definitely last. not out of 100% alpaca. I did that. That was not. No bueno. Mm -mm, yeah. No bueno. Mm -mm, no. And then, to top it all off, if the yarn wasn't just epically beautiful and wonderful, it's a drawn picture that Liz drew herself. Hold it closer so they can see what it is. It's just a blur. There you go. Isn't that wonderful? An alpaca and a scarf. I just... I just can't. I can't even. I, I can't. Anyway... As long as that scarf is, that's almost Doctor Who packa. It's remember the Tom. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I remember that Tom. Super long <laughs> scarf. The reason that uh, Tom Baker's scarf was so long is they went to a knitter in England when they were getting ready to film Doctor Who, the fifth one with Tom Baker, and they gave her a whole bunch of yarn, and they said, "Make a sweat uh, scarf." They didn't give her any more directions than make a scarf, and they they. They gave her a ton of yarn, and she thought they wanted her to use all of it. So she made a 14-foot-long scarf, and that became the trademark for that particular doctor, was that amazingly, absurdly long scarf. For those of you who are not Who fans, uh, you should check it out. Been around for a, a very long time, almost as long as me. Yep. I do like it. I don't, I haven't seen We haven't got to watch Doctor Who. Because we don't pay... Well, don't pay for whatever service you have to pay for to get it. And, um, like, I signed up for the BBC's whatever. BBC something. America. And then they no, quit showing it on BBC no, America. No, not that. There's a BritBox. I signed up for BritBox a while back. And then I paid for it for one month. And there was no Doctor Who on it. And so I was like, well, why am I paying for BritBox? Because mm -hmm. I signed up for it. Because truthfully, I don't watch TV that much. This guy could watch TV all the time, be okay with it, I think, maybe. I don't, I could go without it for the rest of my life and not lose sleep. Except I love Star Trek and I love Doctor Who. So it's, I could live without all the rest. If they made a movie about the Iron Druid, though, or a series oh, yeah. about the Iron Druid, series. I'd be all over on that, on like White on Rice, especially. But if they would, they have to include a talk like the dog. We need to hear the dog's voice in his head. We need to hear that. Yeah. And it's got to be a good one. Oberon. I need Oberon's voice. But I'm really enjoying, I'm listening to Ink and Sig Sigil. Mm -hmm. And I, oh, we moved into books. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> um I, I can't think of the little dude's name. I don't know if he's a little dude either, but the but the Cloy. Char yeah the character from the Hobgoblin. Yeah, the Hobgoblin. His name he's, is Buck Foy. He's hilarious, but don't go into more details. 
don't don't share all this stuff but it's it's very very good and um, very similar in story style to the Iron Druid. Well, it's the, the Iron same, Druid does make appearances. In I'm this. just saying it's the same. It's set in the same yeah. world and same time and. Anyhow, I'm trying to think. I don't have anything else. This is now your show for a little bit, and then we'll get to the we'll get to the make along. Um, I will try to put a timestamp or something in the notes below of when the make along. So if you don't care about our life stuff, anyway. Uh, okay, for me, uh, went and saw Sisu S I S U. It is a movie about a Finnish Special Forces person whose family was killed and he retired. Uh, well, he didn't really retire. Uh, Finland sent him out in the middle of nowhere and just told him to kill Russians. And he did a very good job of that. According to their kill stats, he killed over 300 of them. And then he decided that he wanted to be a gold miner, not kill anybody anymore. And... Then the Nazis are leaving Finland and leaving scorched earth behind them. And they encounter him and they try to kill him and steal his gold. And they find out that old Finnish dudes are hard to kill. It is a very, very gory, violent movie. Uh, I will not go see it. You, uh, it's, this is a movie you don't go pee in. Because you don't want to have to sit through this all over again to miss catch up that missed part and all you probably missed was somebody blowing up at least three times somebody steps on a landmine one time a horse steps on a landmine no 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 that's just that's not a eating movie that's barely even a watching movie so i would i would not endorse say go see it unless you just have a penchant for body parts and go see it you'll have your penchant satisfied uh, I read the most recent book in the uh, uh, the Herald. What was that? Uh, Blood of the Dragons or something like that. I don't remember now. Uh, I talked about it before. Uh, the most recent book is not any better edited than any of the previous books. But it seems like it is uh, kind of heading towards a conclusion. So maybe one or two more books in the series will be complete. I don't know. I am on a waiting list for the new David Baldacci book. If you have not read David Baldacci, give him a look. The man has interesting style and amazingly interesting characters. I highly recommend The Memory Man. Memory Man, a professional football player, had one play in his entire career. And in that one play, he suffered a brain injury. And now he remembers everything. Everything. Every smell, every sight, every word. Anything that has happened in front of him that he has seen, he cannot forget, which includes finding his wife and daughter murdered. So he has good and bad. He's got a lot of problems, but he becomes a consultant to the police, to the FBI, and he helps him solve crimes that nobody else can solve because he doesn't forget anything. And since he doesn't forget anything, his mind sits there and plays with the pieces and he goes, huh? What about, and then, well, what do you know? So, very interesting character, very interesting books. Memory Man, start there. David Baldacci has so much to draw from. Start with the Memory Man. If you don't like it, uh, maybe check out the Rob series. I uh, won't tell you anything about that one because you need to find that out on your own. Um, Dean Koontz has anything new? I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. I don't think so. I get I get emails from a lot of these characters telling me they got new books. Um, it's okay. We can talk about those next week. I like to keep this one short anyway. So, so. Not, not a lot to say on the movie front. I am going to a movie today. Um, which one am I going to today? I don't know, but you can tell me all about it next week unless it's important. Oh, Guy Ritchie, The Covenant. This is based on a true story. Uh, um, you don't have to go into details. Yes, I can. No. So they can be interested if they want to go. Uh, I believe it was a Marine in Afghanistan who had an interpreter. And when they did the withdrawal, he found out that his interpreter was left behind. 
So his family and the interpreter are in danger of being murdered by the Taliban. And this guy gets his friends and mounts his own rescue mission to go and save this man and his family. Uh, according to everything that I have read about it, it's very well directed, very well acted. And it's supposed to be an excellent war movie that's not really a war movie. So I'm going to go see that today. Next week I will tell you if that was good or bad. Uh, I have high hopes for it being good. Having just watched Sisu, the bar is very low. Uh, hell, I, I could go watch almost anything and be okay. <laughs> uh, anything else? I need to talk about the make-along. Oh, so do you have me. anything else before the make along? I, I got nothing. Okay. So I recorded earlier, but I'm just going to put it in here because that's less editing for me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a make along at the moment, May, June, and July, and August is my plan. It may just be May, June, and July. Who knows? But what we're going to do is we're going to do a top. Any top. You can make a long sleeve, short sleeve. You can make it, you can sew it. You can take a top you already have and put embroidery on it. You can um, weave it. You can knit it, crochet it. As long as it's fiber art related and it's a top. That's it. That's the only rule. Can it be a whip? Absolutely. Can it, um, do you have to absolutely finish it? No. I do want to make sure that you're actively working on it. So I would need a, hey, I'm casting on, or here's my whip, and some second photo showing some progress. That's it. That's it. That's all I care. Um, I have pulled up two patterns because... You will get a special extra entry into this make-along if you choose to use one or the other of two patterns. This is the Shima sweater. And I will be knitting this sweater for my Pride um, sweater. And so if you choose to use the Shima sweater, then you get an extra entry. If you want a discount code for the Shima sweater, pop over to Soxy Nana Alice, Soxy Nana Alice podcast on YouTube. I'll put her channel below. If you go over, she has a discount code for the the designers' um, patterns. I'm not sure what the code is. I'm not sure how much that discount is. I just know she has a discount. I had already purchased the sweater pattern long before I even knew that Alice had a discount code. Um, so I am going to be making that sweater. So I decided, you know what, if, if you decide to knit the same thing as me, I'm going to give you a little bit of a extra entry to the make along. And then um, the second pattern... I'm also going to be making, um, this is a crochet cardigan and it is into the night cardigan on Ravelry. The link to the pattern will be shared. And, um, if you choose to use that pattern, then you will also get an extra entry. Now, for this pattern, I don't have a discount code. I don't know of a discount code. However, if you purchase the pattern, a portion of the cost of the pattern is being donated right now to Gary Knits Gary Rides fundraiser for End AIDS um, charity. And so you can purchase the pattern and help end the AIDS crisis. I think that just would be incredible. And... If you crochet the project during the Pride Knit Along that Gary will be hosting, you can enter your project into his giveaways that he has for his. So you can double enter. You can enter into both, double dip, triple dip, it doesn't matter to me. 
Um, I am going to be giving away one pattern for the crochet pattern only, but I'm going to give it to someone who can't afford it. So if you crochet and you have yarn at home, but you do not have it in your budget to purchase this pattern, please enter below, put a comment and say, I would like to crochet that cardigan. That's all you have to say. I would like to crochet that cardigan. And everyone who puts that comment, um, I'll enter and do a random draw for um, that pattern and I will purchase it. Now, I don't know if anyone else will help out, but I do know that we have a very kind community. So if there are others who can't afford it, and I, you know, and there's 10 people, maybe somebody else will step up and say, hey, I'm going to help you too. Um, but I, I just know that I have a lot of people in my life that crochet that I've known for many years. And if any of those folks out there want to crochet it, but can't afford the pattern, please, please, please put, I want to crochet the cardigan, I want to crochet the pattern either or, um, and uh, I'll enter. I will pick the winner next week. Because I want to make sure that you have the patterns, so that you can make sure you have the yarn, so that you can make sure everything's in place, so that you can join in on the crochet along and actually be entered for prizes. So, okay. a couple extra things. I just read up about the uh, Barris Brothers. They've been in business since 1970. They have 50 flavors of 50 different copies, 40 flavors. Really interesting read. Go check them out. It's Bears, B E R R E S Brothers dot com. But I found this for my Darla. She likes lemon bars. Can y'all see that? These lemon bars are only six ingredients and they don't have any bad stuff in there. They have sugar, but the sugar comes from dates. So it's not bad sugar. It's just naturally occurring sugar. And I have been given custody of these because she says they're really good. And she doesn't want them all eaten at one time. And since she knows I despise lemon. I, actually, I love lemon. A real lemon, I will take and bite. I will eat a lemon straight up. Lemon bars, no. Lemon meringue, I'll eat the meringue off the top and give the lemon bottom to her. She's safe giving me her lemon bars. I, they're 200 calories each, and that's not bad for a sweet treat. It's really not that bad, but I'm, I'm really trying to behave myself. So I think that they're a really great find because that means that I can still stick to my diet and have a treat from time to time, but I want to limit them one every two three weeks and um but they are very 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 good and read the ingredients because i but think it's interesting the ingredients are dates almonds cashews lemon juice concentrate lemon juice solids and lemon oil so uh there's a lot of lemon in that yeah, and it's very good <laughs> it's very good they just threw and the whole freaking lemon in and ground it up and called it lemon and i don't like dates but I, I can taste the texture of the date, but I can't taste the flavor of the date. So the o lemon overrides the flavor of the dates, and I just have to deal with the texture. Bummer. I'm glad you like Dumbo Peace. Anyway, I think that's it for us. Went way longer than I intended. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. 30 minutes Please. is not bad, baby. I know, but I really want to keep it short. Okay. Shorter. This is a half an hour shorter. Yeah, working on it. <laughs> Um, again, local yarn shop day is today. If you do see this this morning, early, pop in. Even if you can't get out and about or you don't get out and about, pop online, see if there's something that you need. Or be like me and don't buy anything from anyone, anywhere, so you can go to New York. <laughs> I love you. Anyway, bye, y'all. See you next Hasta week. Hasta la vista. Oh, happy knitting or whatever. Have a good day. <laughs> bye.